Good morning. Let us study today how to write the Slater determinant for multi electron atom. For example, helium atom. How to write the Slater determinant for lithium atom, carbon atom, or any other atom? If you understand this, you can write for any other atom. For example, asked in your competitive exam or in your semester exam. Let us first see helium atom. It is easily written. If you follow, it is very very simple. Okay. Let us consider for helium atom, its atomic number is two. The electronic configuration is one plus two. Therefore, psi one comma two. There are two electrons. Is equal to one by square root of two factorial. This is the wave function. This is the wave function expressed in represented in Slater determinant. Later, it will help. It includes both spatial. It uh, later included included both the spatial wave function. One plus one plus uh, one plus is the spatial wave function, whereas alpha, beta, or spin wave function for upward spin. This is for spin wave function for upward spin, and this is the spin wave function for downward spin. Okay. Now, how it is written? It is very simple. For example, you have two electrons. Therefore, one plus one, one plus one, uh, and another one plus one. Okay. So the electrons are indistinguishable. The electrons are indistinguishable. Therefore, you write one plus one. Two electrons are there. Therefore, one plus one, one plus one. Then one for another electron. For another electron, say say you forget about this. You forget about this. One plus two. Similarly, one plus two, one plus three. Suppose you have another electron, one plus three, one plus three. Okay, so we will see for lithium atom next. Next, one plus one, alpha spin. Now alpha spin, and another one is beta spin. Okay, this is the, the same electron, electron number one. Electron one is one represents electron number one. Therefore, alpha spin is maybe or it may be beta spin. Okay, beta one, alpha one. The electron one is in alpha state. The electron is in beta state. Similarly, you have this already. You have one plus two, uh, one one plus two. Therefore, one for two beta two. Say the one for two beta two. Okay. Now, this is the vertical columns are columns. The verticals are columns, and these are rows. The horizontals are rows. Okay. So columns, and then there are two columns and two rows. This is the two by two matrix for. Uh, Two electron system for two electron system it is two by two matrix for three electron system it is three by three matrix three by three matrix therefore there are two columns now this two now you see just you index this is row if you put row as this this way okay if you take this row 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 and you write it as a column and this row is write as a column so these two are same these two are same for example. Psi two one. How it is obtained? It is obtained by interchanging C one. For example, this is C one, C two. You write C two. You write C two first. C two first. Okay, you write here. I have only given uh, short notation. You so you fully write. Okay, C two first and then C one next. Or you write first R two. R two. You write R two first and then R one next. This is equal to. The total wave function, according to Slater, the total wave function is anti-symmetric with respect to exchange of electrons. See, with respect to uh, interchange of electrons. With respect to interchange of electrons, this is the uh, quantum mechanical definition of uh, Pauli exclusion principle. No, no order. Uh, each orbital can accommodate only two electrons. This is the consequence of. Pauli exclusion principle. Okay, now let us see lithium atom. Similarly, you can write very easily for lithium atom. The electronic configuration is one plus two, two is one. Therefore, there are three electrons present in it. Psi one two three equal to one by square root of three factorial. Three factorial is one into two into three. Therefore, six one by square root of six. Now, similarly, you write this. Okay, you first write this. You don't write this. Only you first write the spatial part. You forget about this. Just one plus one. Similarly here, one plus one. Okay, one plus one, one plus one. And then you have 
two electron and then one electron in two s orbital that put two s one and similarly you find it again okay and you write one s two one s two two s two okay you find it about this one s three one s three two s three because there are three electrons there are three electrons there are three possibilities now similarly alpha one the electron the first electron is in alpha spin okay upper spin and then in the same orbital beta one okay so here there is only one electron therefore it is in the upper spin okay it is in the upper spin and that's it so similarly if you write in alpha two beta two alpha two here alpha three for the third electron alpha three beta three alpha two and these are rows there are three rows and there are three cores okay now i interchange now for example row like you write like you write please you all of you write row first you write this row here and this row here and this row here these two are same these two are same whereas interchanging of column one to column two okay will be anti symmetric interchanging of column or interchanging of uh, rows in the one if you interchange one one only okay then they are, they are anti symmetric Psi one two three, it becomes psi two one. All of interchanging psi two one three. Okay, the interchange of electron, the total wave function is anti-symmetric with respect with respect to interchange of electron. This this can also be applied to lithium atom or any other multi-electron atom. This uh, principle. Okay, now let us see carbon atom. Its atomic number is six one s two two s two two p two. Similarly, you first write you forget about this. We just to write them. Okay, you just to find out about this. One s one here. One s one and one s one. There are two electrons in one s one orbital. Okay, so one s two and next to two s one, two s one and next to you see two p x, two p y, two p z. Here plus one zero. Add the quantum number plus one zero minus one. Therefore, we find out about this. Okay, two p one. 2p plus 1, 1, 2p one, one, one electron only is present in this orbital. Okay. Now similarly, 1s2, same thing. You write you just wrote for lithium. Okay. 1s2, you just forget about the spin part. We just concentrate on, we focus on the spatial wave function. So 1s2, 1s2, 2s2, 2s2. 2p plus 2, 2p zero is just 2. Okay. Similarly, 1s3, 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 2s3, just 3. You put 3. Next, you just 4. Okay. Same thing. You just 4, 5. There are 6 cores. There are 6 cores. Now, alpha one. You have one electron, alpha one, and another electron. So, the same electron it, it will be in the downward spin. Therefore, alpha one, beta one, alpha one, and beta one, alpha one. This is the Both electrons, both electrons in the 2p is a 2p orbitals or uh, have upward spin. Therefore, alpha one, alpha one, alpha one. Okay, alpha and beta are the spin wave function. Spin wave function for upward spin and downward spin. Then therefore, same thing. Alpha two, beta two, the alpha two, beta two, alpha two, alpha two. Similarly, right here for alpha three. So it can be extended. The beta determinant. Can be obtained for carbon atom. That is the wave function. Wave function. Uh, you are asked to write the wave function of the carbon atom. That means write the. They will ask the question. Can you uh, write the wave function? Write the wave function for carbon atom in slate determinant. Okay. Thank you for watching.